Alright everyone, so this is my salt water tank, and I just wanted to talk about the setup of it, how I have it set up. Uh, lots of people ask me about the tanks, and uh, how the salt water tanks work especially, so I'm going to go over my setup and then I'll make some videos later more on individual components. But with a salt water tank, you usually have your main tank. Lots of people don't even put filters in the main tank. I did put a Fluval U4 in mine, which provides water flow as well as some filtration. And then I have a uh, water uh, pump up here, a wave maker up there. So you want a lot of flow in a salt water tank, and that's because live rock and the live sand at the bottom does a lot <coughs> of your filtration. So you want the water to be going through all your live rock. You need about a pound or more of live rock per gallon of a uh, tank you have. So what lots of people do then is uh, the main tank can get cluttered. Lots of people like to make their saltwater tank look really just natural. So the point of a sump is to do two things. It's a way to put filtration. I have a second filter down here, another Fluval U4. It's a way to put filtration, your heater, which I have in here, uh, a refugium, which I have connected to my sump over here, and then some other things down here like more live rock, uh, some more live sand if you want. You could put some plants in there if you want. I have my algae over here. So the sump is basically a filtration tank and lots of people put even more live rock down here. I got two big pieces and I have some, uh, I forget exactly what they are, maybe they're uh, emerald crabs and they eat algae like crazy. So my, this uh, sump used to be full of algae and the emerald crabs, I just put two down there, they ate all of it. So if you want your sump to be free of algae, put some emerald crabs in there. Because I got my refugium for my algae. So it's real nice. Um, and how the sump works is by an overflow box. I'll do a video in the future more about overflow boxes. But an overflow box is something, that's it inside the tank. There's a box inside the tank, that's that black box you just saw. And it fills up with water. As you can see those slits, water goes through and comes into the box. Well we got this tube that's full of water. Mine's all salty because I've had it set up for years. Um, there's a tube here. This is filled with water. And there's another uh, container down here that's filled with water, as you can see on the left side. So this tube is going from one to the other and trying to keep the water level equal. And then as it keeps it equal, it spills over from the left side to the right. And then it goes down this tube, which goes down right here. It's this big tube goes down into my sump tank. And then the water from the sump tank is what makes the overflow work because the overflow works when the tank water starts getting high it starts going into the uh, little it's hard to see them, those are the, it's hard to see them on this thing those are the little notches. So as the pump fills up the main tank water starts flowing into the overflow box and that pump down here is connected and that's that cord going up and it's going back into the tank right here. So the pump is actually what makes the whole thing work because as water goes up it flows out of that box and if the flow of the pump stops that's okay the overflow box is made that if the water stops coming up to the main tank it will not drain the whole main tank that's the point of it it'll only drain down to the bottom of those lines that I showed you. <coughs> so that's the point of a sump it's basically to get all your equipment out of the main tank, have everything out of the main tank. People will put a, uh, my air tube came off here, people will put a uh, protein skimmer and stuff like that down here, and then a refugium. In the refugium, I have two types of algae, and if you saw my old videos, it's growing like crazy more now even. And um, what this does is it, uh, the algae in here, eats up nitrates, phosphates, and some other chemicals in the water. So it is actually a, a filtration center. You can also put a plankton in here and they will grow and reproduce in here and then slowly come out. I have mine set at a very slow flow. It, it turns on and off uh, once an hour and then it sits in there for about a half an hour then it turns on for like half hour. Uh, I do that so the water can sit in there and not always be disrupted and then the plants can uh, eat up all the bad stuff. So that's my refugium with the algae and the water just goes up it through this tube and then it just drips back down into my sump. Some people will you know set it up differently you can separate your sump into sections and have a, a section for the refugium. It's all different ways to set it up. So anyways that's my setup just wanted to show it real quick and uh, do a quick overview because people wanted to see how I had it set up. Uh, and I'll do some videos in the future more on 
the individual parts, like the overflow flow box, more technically how it works and what you need to make it work, uh, and stuff like that. So I'll try to get some more videos like that in the, in the near future. But for now, that was my tank, and we'll see you guys next time.